If you guys saw my recent video where I downgrade 3.71 or 3.72 into 3.65, then you might want to install Enso. As you guys know, Hencore 2 does actually crash quite a bit. I've had it maybe about three times where I've tried to launch it up and it's just crashed my whole PSTV and I've had to restart it. It's kind of annoying, but if we have permanent ENSO, then we're never going to encounter this problem. So as you guys can see, over on my home screen, I've got Hencore 2 right here and it does actually crash sometimes. So we're gonna switch this to ENSO and then we won't have this problem. So if you guys would like to follow along, the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open up the system settings. From here, all you want to do is go into Henkaku settings, scroll down to spoofed version and press X, and you just want to make sure this says 3.72. Also go back, make sure all of these three are ticked as well. We're going to go back again, and now we can close out of this. So what we want to do from here is just go ahead and open up VitaShell. Press X on start, and just wait for VitaShell to load up. And when VitaShell loads, what we want to do is press select and we want to go and connect this to our PC. Right guys, so I'm going to leave a link to Enso in the description of this video. Now Enso has not been updated in a year, but it's still pretty good and it works perfectly fine. So all you guys want to do is find the Enso VPK version 1.1. I'm just going to click on this and it's actually going to start downloading. Now once this is finished downloading, you'll be able to find it in your downloads folder. Now I'm going to copy this across via FileZilla. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this. We want to find Enso, but first of all, we want to connect to our PS Vita. So I'm going to click on OK. Make sure you put the host and the port and we're going to get an enso.vpk and we're going to drag and drop this into the UXO. So this one right here, just go ahead and drop that across and then there you go, that is pretty much it. Now we can go back onto my PSTV and let's just go ahead and install enso. Okay guys, so once we're back, you want to press circle for cancel. We're going to scroll down, we're going to press X on our UXO. We're going to scroll all the way down and we're looking for the enso.vpk. So here the file is, press X, X again, and we're just going to install this. Press X one more time and it will just start installing. Now once enso has finished installing, we will be able to close out of each shell and we can just go and find it on our home screen. So let's just go and have a look. And here is the new Enso bubble. So what we're gonna do, make sure you're on 3.60 or 3.65. 3.65 is the best firmware to use this on. So make sure you stay on 3.65 and we're just gonna go and start this up. Now it's going to come up with a few messages. Um, it says this software will make permanent modification to your Vita. If anything goes wrong, there is no recovery. Now there's a message right here saying press circle to accept these terms or any other key not to accept. So if you press any other button, it will not accept it. But if you press circle, you can. So we're going to press circle. Um, we've then got a few options here. We've got uh, X to reinstall or um, install the hack. You press triangle to uninstall it. You press square to fix the boot configuration and you press circle to exit without doing anything. So I'm going to press cross or X, whatever you like to call it, to install the hack. And there you go, it's just going to check your system and it's going to see if it can actually install it. So you've just got to wait for this. Um, I don't really know how long it takes. And then there you go, actually that was quick. It says press X to continue or any other key to exit. So I'm going to press X. The installation was completed successfully. Press any key to reboot, press X one more time. And then your system is going to reboot. Now how you know if you have Enso installed, basically you won't need to run Hencore anymore. It will actually be permanent. So every time you can turn it off, turn it back off again, you can try and open something like Vita Shell or check the system information and you will find out your custom firmware is already running. So let's give it a try right now, system reboot. Normally we would have to launch Hencore, but um, because we've got um, Enso installed, we can actually just launch up Bead Shell on yes and you guys can see that it just works straight away we don't even have to launch Hencore 2 anymore which is perfect because for me it just crashes all the time we can also go ahead and check the system settings as well if you just press X on start um, as you can see still got Henkaku settings scroll down system system information and there you go guys that is how you install Enso very fast and very easy to install if you're still not convinced you can hold the PlayStation button, you can go to power off, you can power it back on, and it will still be working. So let's just try Vita Shell. 
and then there you go guys it works perfectly fine so that is pretty much it that is how you install Enso as I said if you want to install it you just run this again and you go through the uninstall process but that is pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one